make US uh, tactician USBs? Wait, you mean make them or do you mean like find them? Or, like in the farm? Okay, uh, nothing that way. Where are the dinosaurs? Oh wait, no, I do have to go that way. Ah, fudge. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. You done Could have gotten it. my full team of burst mode so much faster. Um, I would do another playthrough then. Oh my god. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, oh, I have. I, I had so many megas by the end of my Cybersuit playthrough. It was kind of insane, and I did end up really using all of them. I just had them just so I could like, just, like I I grinded them just to have them, because it was so easy to get them to level 99 mega at one point. Like once you have like three platinum Numamons and then nine tactician USBs, and then if you have like a really good grinding area, then boom, you're good to go. You could have a level 99 mega in like less than 20 minutes. Huck. Okay, there's a little babies. We're not really gonna bother fighting them. You developed into your speech just cracks? Yeah. Uh, developer know how's in the farm and then builder types. And then the 1000 yen search. Yeah. You rarely ever developed in the game? Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the only way you can get them is from the farm. If you develop them in the farm. But when they say develop, they mean like... Like... Well, I guess it's technically making them, but it's also RNG. Dinosaur, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. You know what? Since I can actually take out all the Digimon just by slapping them, maybe I just should fight them. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there he is. All the way at the end. See, I was right. <laughs> Uh, so it's only at 1k, then that's especially no wonder. Yeah, you can only get it from the 1000 one, the middle one, surprisingly. Oh, that's another thing, yeah. If you were doing the, the, the 10,000 one, then oop. Because <laughs> it doesn't develop there. Ah, uh, Ryuji, what are you doing here? What kind of greeting is that? Can't I drop it on an old friend? He's so small. You only ever come to see me when you've got some crazy request. Don't be like that. I'm the one who kept you from going to prison, remember? Oh, sheesh. That's a big deal. Yeah, give me this ticket, bro. We literally saved your life. I always waited until like 10 seconds left of development, saved, and then just loaded until I got it. Yeah, that's a that's another way that a lot of people got it. I, I only had to do that for my last two that I was trying to get. Because like I said, the other eight tactician USBs I got, like I was getting them one right after the other somehow, that, which is not normal, but I got lucky. But the last one I had to get, I had to reload constantly. Um. Anyway, I remember fighting a dinosaurus back then who didn't even have a freaking dinosaur Digimon. Wait, then he's not a dinosaurus then. I remember chewing the dinosaurus for not actually using a dinosaur. Interesting. You mean this guy? I'd say you owe me a favor or two. That's what you always say. So, what is it this time? I want your tickets for the Eden Upgrade Preview. You must be kidding! They're almost impossible to find. Do you have any idea how long it took me to get them? There's no way I'd even sell them, let alone just give them away. Not even to you. In that case, how about a wager? A wager? This is our new hacker. Do you battle with him? If he wins, you give us the tickets. Hold on, I have like a air bubble in my throat. <laughs> Bleh. If you win, I'll take as many cases as you want for free. Sheesh! Huh, <laughs> you serious? My own personal errand boy? I like the sound of that. Damn, we did this guy a favor and he's like, heh <laughs> free stuff. What if you lose? Will you- oh! Ellis, thank you so much uh, for the gifted sub! Ooh, congrats, U uh, Udoku, you got a gifted sub! Congrats, congrats! I'm pretty sure it was something during Cyber Sleuth, though, because I've not really gotten this far in Hackers Memory. Oh, I see. Yeah, I wonder if they, like, changed some of the RNG stuff in this game, because I feel like I'm getting much better, like, roles and even rewards in this game than we did in Cyber Sleuth. Who knows? But yeah, congrats, Udoku! If you lose, you're out of Hootie. Wait, he's part of Hootie? Oh, wait, or do you mean me? Oh, they're talking about me. Okay, I thought he was talking about this dinosaur. So I was like, this dinosaur is in Hootie? No, you're talking about me. Damn, bro. You're really wagering my whole, my whole 
life at this point. Remember, dude, I dropped out of school because I lost my TikTok account. I, I, you guys are the only thing I have left. Hootie's the only thing. <laughs> You're gonna regret this. I'm one of the best on the team. If you want to blame anyone, blame your leader over there. Okay, let's see if bringing Platinum Numan is a mistake or not. Is Cyclomon a, a dinosaur? Is Cyclomon considered a dinosaur? Okay. Uh, they're all virus types, so... Oh, wow. Okay. So this Platinum Numan's not gonna do anything here. Uh, okay. <laughs> see. To one foe. Wind. Okay, so wait. What do we got? We got water, earth, and... Okay, so I'll have Eyeless target the sm dark. Um, Earth was weak to wind. Who has wind? Oh, you have wind. Okay. Wait, 70% accuracy. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let's attack this guy. But the all. Oh. I was gonna say the issues were both virus types. Okay. Eyeless is gonna get the 100. Let's get this guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> One-shotted! Platinum Numamon, you had one job and you missed. Oh my god. Where's Cyclamon's eyes? <laughs> um... Da, 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 da. I don't think there's a single dinosaur on this guy's team. I think Cyclamon is actually counted as dragon. That's what I was saying. I was like, I don't think he's a dinosaur. <laughs> he doesn't actually have a dinosaur? Bro, why are you calling yourself the dinosaurs? Like, you have a frog some sort of fur animal and then a dragon okay um there's a water type on this team right okay oops uh no okay to all foes might as well just hit both of them oh, sh oh that's right lilamon's a data type so di data's weak to virus types um okay okay don't miss this time oh that did not do a lot of damage okay One foe, one foe. Okay, everyone's health is pretty good. Let me attack this guy. Oh, nice. <laughs> As for you, um... I can... I'll just pretty much use anything, but... Electric, electric. Okay, let's see how you do against electric. I know it's probably not gonna do much. Ten, okay. No, Lilamon! You're too weak! Or not the right type, technically. Physical attack, 40. What's Dot's target? Okay, let's see if we can win the accuracy RNG. No, it blocks it, okay. We have two useless Digimon here. <laughs> Damn! Oh. Um... Let me, let me grab that. Twitch has some crazy, uh, racism filters. <laughs> a bit, a bit... It's gonna hide things that aren't ac actually racist. It's not crazy. Uh, okay. Let's see how this does. 101, okay. Better than the other attacks. Oh, he countered. Oh! Okay, what do you got, Platinum Numamon? Let's heal the Lilamon. Oh, that did not do a lot. Hello, Autobot, my old friend. Uh, though in Japanese, dinosaur is, um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you. So going by Japanese uh, standards, which made the game dinosaurs actually... <laughs> actually dragons. I don't know. See, this guy technically should be weak to win, but because Plod and Numan's also a virus type, it doesn't do a lot. Let me see how much this does. Oh, that's decent. <laughs> Alright, Eyeless. Get him! <laughs> Ooh, 40,000 experience. That's pretty good. Went from 39 to 46. Holy moly. And we should probably switch out that holy light too, because you got some new stuff. Same with Gaia Element. Actually, I should be switching a lot of skills. <laughs> They ain't stand a chance against me. Exactly. Uh, let me grab some water before I voice act this guy. <sighs> okay. No! 
I lost! Damn, you're strong! Technically, it was only Eyeless who was strong. <laughs> now that I think about it, you're Ryuji's protege. I should have known you were something special. I can't believe I fell for that. We won fair and square. You know what to do. Fine. Take him, you thief. I do feel bad for this guy. We pretty much just threatened him out of his own tickets that he tried so hard to get. <laughs> Dinosaurs are burbs. I mean, he's not wrong. What? Did you hire them to get a ticket? Yeah, I got two tickets. So I don't want to see any more tears from you. Okay, thanks. You're the best. I actually wanted to go to the preview with you all along. And um, thanks, you two. Now we can go to the preview. Yay! Let's go. I need to go home and decide what to wear. Uh, hey! Wait up! Calm down! Case complete. Huh? What was my payment? <laughs> Don't laugh, but... It was a Digimon medal and a plastic model. You two? <laughs> Those two are so alike. Oh, what you're thinking is like, I'm gonna get a plastic model to my sister, Erica. <laughs> Rise guys ain't got a chance against you, yeah! Is an absolute virus busting champion, or should I say the ultimate virus buster? Virus busters! I know that payment was nowhere near enough for all of our hard work, but it's good to do stuff like this sometimes. Yeah, somewhat charity work. Okay, we also have the other case in Nakano. Erica, you got two toys out of this. You should be happy. Oh. Welcome back. Good work on the case. Thanks. I heard you helped. That crew was so happy to get a ticket. I just did it for the payment. She left a comment saying she'll bring Wooper later. <laughs> I can't wait. By the way, I poured you some juice. What's with the face? Can't I reward you after your hard day's work? I'm getting Wooper thanks to you. Here, you have some too. Thanks, Erica. Oh. Wait, what did she make? Did she make a concoction rather than a drink? Ultimate virus buster? Eilis' new final move? <laughs> I didn't mean to fall down Danganronpa. Wait, was that Danganronpa? Oh, the ultimate virus buster. Oh, wait, I get it, I get it. The ultimate. Ultimate. What do you guys think you'd be? I think food is the ultimate... Uh... Milf simper. <laughs> yes, don't agree with that. <laughs> don't agree with that. <laughs> Ain't no one do it like me, bro. <laughs> no, oh, no, it's nothing. It's not often I see Erica pour a drink for someone. Drink up. The ultimate guy who dies first. <laughs> Oh no, we already vomited from Yukiko. Or not Yu not Yukiko. I keep saying Yukiko. Yuko. And now we're gonna vomit from Erica's food this time. Oh. It's nice, but so sweet. It's too sweet. It's like the inside of my mouth has been coated with syrup. Is this even safe to drink? So just like straight up sugar? The ultimate person who sits quietly in the corner. <laughs> oh, red text. Ouch. I suddenly felt an excruciating pain in every single one of my teeth. Could it be so sweet that it instantly gave me cavities in all my teeth? No, I was so proud of not having a single cavity. I, I don't want cavities. No! Okay, I can't scream. Because someone just passed by my room, but. <laughs> hey, snap out of it. Instant cavity. Damn, girl. That looks like the sweetness made me pass out. How rude of you to do... T uh, How rude do you have to be to collapse after drinking juice that someone made for you? What did you do to that juice, girl? It made it so sugary. That's right. I made it. Don't look so surprised. I have been known to do thoughtful things from time to time. 
Who's gonna tell her? Ryuji, come on. You have to be the one to tell her. Come on, bro. Stop being- stop ha stop at your sister complex. <laughs> sweet ride. She has an unusual sweet tooth. Are you gonna- are you like, um, what's his name? Yuri from Spy Family. Who just like, even though his sister cooks terribly, he still eats it and tells her it's good. Yeah, he suffers. I'm gonna get going. Have a nice day, everyone. Thank you for the stream. Bye, Natsu. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope you had fun. I'll see you probably on Friday for the next Digimon stream as well. Uh, thank you, thank you. I ha I may have a sweet tooth, but even I have a limit to how much sweet I can take. I feel like the older I get, the less I like sweets. I don't know. I used to really enjoy like cakes and cupcakes and candy when I was little, but now as an adult, I'm like, I can really only have like a small amount of sugar before I, before it becomes too much. Like, like I can probably eat only like one piece of like white chocolate, and I'm like, mm, that's enough for me for like a couple days. My not to save, good to save. Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe it's something with getting older. <laughs> I don't know. I've also noticed too, a lot of my friends as well, they don't really eat a lot of sweets either. Uh, as like, like the friends that I've known for a long time, like when I remember like being in high school and then we'd all have like cookies and treats, but like as adults, no one really has, no one really eats sweets that much anymore. I feel my general tolerance for sweets has stayed the same. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's just me. <laughs> But my, my talent for sweets has gone down. I can mess up like a million M&Ms um, um, as a kid, but a regular pack of them now isn't nearly as appetizing. Yeah, like, I don't know. Something, like whenever I buy candy nowadays too, it takes me a long time to finish it. Like my favorite candy is like a sour candy. But you know how like most sour candies are like at first they're sour, but then they turn sweet. I have this bag of sour candies that I've like normally if I had bought it in high school, I'd finish it within a week. But I think I've had this bag for like three months now. <laughs> and, I, and I'm still not even close to finishing it. I mean, I guess that's probably a good thing. The fact that my body doesn't want as much artificial sugar as it used to. <laughs> I'm sure if you're the weird one, I don't know. I mean, I still do know people who love sweets, but I feel like most of the people I know nowadays don't enjoy sweets as much as they used to. Uh, um, the juice they sell is never sweet enough. That's why I always make my own in the cafe's drink corner. I put lots of glucose in it. Glucose is the only fuel the brain can use. Okay, Erica, for a shut-in like you and probably for someone who doesn't go outside, I guess that would make sense for you. But your lifestyle is not normal, Erica. <laughs> I know it's very sweet, but it's good once you get used to it. How about another glass? No. <laughs> Gonna get my cholesterol and my sh blood sugar spiking. You don't have to look that disgusted. It may be a little too sweet, but I always try to get the flavor balance just right. My tastes as an adult are so wildly different that I'm not sure I'm a clone replacement. I definitely used to be a little more picky with my food. When I was younger, nowadays, I still have some food preferences that I don't necessarily like. But if you put it in front of me, I'll still eat it. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of cauliflower. But let's say if, like, um, that's the only thing I had in my refrigerator for the day. Like, sure, I'll, like, I'll eat it. Like, I may not like it, but I'll eat it. Like, I, even if I don't like something, I'm not the type of person who would just refuse it anymore. However, the only... The only thing on this planet that I refuse to eat, like actually will refuse to eat, is ginger. I don't like ginger at all. Something about ginger I just can't stand. But that's the only thing. And it's not like ginger is like a necessary thing we all have to eat. So I, it's okay. <laughs> I could just dump a full on litter of syrup into her drink. It's blah. Especially into like a fruit drink. I feel like people don't really eat fruit for the sweetness of it. Or I mean, I guess they do, but you also want fruit if you want something refreshing, right? Like, I feel like that would just ruin the, the refreshing, refreshing taste of the fruit juice to just put sugar in it. That's what I'm imagining. Even drinking sodas nowadays, I can let you drink sugar-free. Dude, same. I, I loved soda when I was younger. Nowadays, I pretty much avoid it. And if I do get a soda, it's like same thing. I get like sugar-free sodas. And if I ever feel like having something carbonated, it's like mineral water, like sparkling water. Yo, I guess, you know, I, I should probably be glad that I don't like sugar as much as I used to. It's healthier. 
Fruit is the kind of snack you didn't feel bad eating. Yeah, exactly. Like, even though, like, fruit is technically sweet, it's, like, a healthy sweet. And it's refreshing. It's not, like, it's not, like, sugary stuff in any way. It's, like, a different satisfaction. I don't know what Erica's on about. <laughs> You're drinking Coca-Cola sugar-free? Yeah. I, I remember my old workplace would buy, um, would buy, like, what is it, Coke Zeros? Or, like, sugar, sugar-free Cokes. And no one would really, uh, only really one coworker would drink it. And then when she left, we just had like two cases of this like sugar-free Coca-Cola's and no one was drinking it. So I just started drinking it because I'm like, sure, it's sugar-free. <laughs> I'll drink it. And a lot of people complain about the taste or whatnot, but I don't know. When it comes to like brown sodas, like Pepsi's or uh, uh, Dr. Pepper Coca-Cola, I don't taste too much a difference. At least mostly between Pepsi and Coca-Cola. I feel like they don't taste that different. Dr. Pepper has a little bit of a different taste. But I feel like with a lot of brown sodas, minus root beer, I feel like they all taste relatively the same. <laughs> and if they, if there is much of a taste difference, it's only a little bit. Like, it's not a lot to the point where I'd be like, oh, no, it's so disgusting and different. Like, not that much. I don't have a ton of sugar is better for your health. Yeah, like some sugar here and there is fine. It's all about balance. Um, but, but like, to not to the point where you're eating it every day. I mean, still should... Um, in, in vibe, vibe, and a bit of sugar here and there, but keep it low generally for the better. Yeah, if you guys have you guys heard of like the 80 20 percent right, um, lifestyle where you eat 80 percent healthy and then 20 percent, you know, unhealthy because that's technically a good balance. Like, like I've noticed, um, like a lot of health fitness people. Um, they'll talk like they'll show like all their healthy sides and whatnot But they'll say like it's normal to go out with your friends and have a drink or have a pizza And it's okay to have a cake on their birthday and when the holidays come around. It's okay to indulge yourself like 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 restriction is not the healthy thing like you can reduce but don't restrict. That's another thing I've heard Reduce but don't restrict. Yeah Sugar-free coke has distinct taste to me a decade ago, but now it and regular taste the same to me. Yeah, that's exactly like me too. I feel like Diet Cokes and regular Cokes just taste the same to me now. But like, if you handed both of them to me when I was a kid, I would have said they're different. <laughs> it's crazy. But I don't really drink soda as often. Anymore. We went on a tangent about sodas. You know, that was a fun conversation though. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I had like a, a Peepsy a few days ago. <laughs> okay, wait, let me get on the topic of Peepsy. Okay, do you guys like you guys know the marshmallows peeps the peeps marshmallows <laughs> about a year ago um pepsi and peeps did a collab together where they made like a, a peeps tasting pepsi and my <laughs> my friend got me like a case on my birthday last year and here's the thing i think it tastes really good the marshmallow like they call it peepsy i love peeps okay i think peeps are really good but same thing, the fact that I don't drink sodas that much anymore, it's been almost a year since I got that soda case and I still have some left over <laughs> because I don't drink sodas as often anymore. But it still tastes good. Peeps are horrific. You know, I don't completely blame you. Peeps are a definitely entire different type of marshmallow and it's okay if people don't like it. I remember the first time I had peeps, I didn't like it either. And I think it took me, I think like by the third time I had peeps until I started to like it. Um, had to go briefly so much sugar. Yeah, peeps are a lot of sugar though. If I do eat peeps, I'll eat like one and then I'll be like done. I'll be like, I can't have any more, just that one. I typically get peeps uh, either around Easter and Christmas is when I tend to eat it. Like last Easter I did, uh, my mom did buy me like a like a peeps treat. Um, so I did eat that one. Um, although it's not completely finished yet because I had like four peeps chicks and I've only eaten two. <laughs> I need to finish the other two before it goes stale, but. I, I like peeps, but I only really eat them during holidays is another thing. I had some peeps, but like peeps just aren't that great anymore to me. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame you guys for not liking peeps. Peeps are definitely, you can tell, it's a very specific type of taste, you know? Like not everyone's, like it's, it's definitely one of those things that you know not everyone is gonna like, basically. Same with like blue cheese, like I love cheese, but I definitely wouldn't expect everyone to like blue cheeses, like. Like moldy cheeses is another thing. Like you can like cheese without liking the the, the moldy cheeses is another thing. Look at Ryuji over here being a being a simp for his sister. 
I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings. I'm your big brother after all. Bro, I beat up my brother all the time. I don't care. <laughs> Yuji. <clears throat> my voice cracked a bit there. Seeing Erica smile, Ryuji looked so happy and proud. But his knees were shaking like crazy. Oh no. He also couldn't handle the sugar. <laughs> Everyone here is so chill. Gotta show up more, dude. The, every like all Digimon fans are so great. I don't think I've ever met like a Digimon fan that I was uncomfortable with. Both IRL and online. Uh pop quiz, what type is Arcadiamon in training? Arcadiamon. Bro, that's so specific. I don't have all that memorized. I don't have everyone's specific types memorized. <laughs> <laughs> Would you being a simp for a sister? <laughs> so you're saying he has a sister? I think he does. I think he has a sister complex. From what we've seen so far, I think he does. All right, does anyone know the answer to this question, Arcadiamon? Does anyone know what type he is? <laughs> Before I, I just guess randomly. Because I don't, I will, this is the one thing about Digimon I don't have memorized. Like, what type they are? They're a virus type? Oh, where's my other... Virus type virus? Okay, cool. Oh. We have a bunch of these. Quiz time! Which Digimon- Starry, why are you giving me a quiz? How dare you? Which Digimon was born when lots of deep were fused? See, here's another thing. <laughs> Thank you for the sound bite. Here's the thing. Starry would definitely ask this question. He would just pop into chat one day and he would just say this. He would- th This is what he would actually do. You got the same quiz twice, did I? <laughs> uh, it was it was Armageddon Mon, right? <laughs> it was it was Armageddon Mon, right? That's right. We did get this already. Wait, what did I put? There's so many. Oh, it's so far back. I don't even know if it's saved. Doesn't look like it. Don't want to scroll all the way back down. Okay, I'm gonna get him on. <laughs> but this is the type of question Star would ask. Wait, did I not reply to this one? There we go. <laughs> Goodness. But yeah, uh, I don't think I've ever met a Digimon fan that I ever like didn't vibe with. And I've like I've met Digimon fans IRL. Everyone's always been so nice and just open to talking about. You know, the nostalgia and whatnot. Like, I think I told this story. When I went to go see the O2 movie um, with my brother and to, and then afterwards, like after the movie was over, everyone that was in the theater, like literally everyone that was in the theater, we all like just stood outside the theater after that movie was over. We all just talked for like 15 minutes. It was great. I think there was like a total of like maybe 20 of us just all chatting, talking about Digimon and like, who is our favorite Digimon? What crest would we, ha would we have? Like, how did we become Digimon fans? You know, how are we still Digimon fans and all that? Like, and it was great too, because I was also in a, in a different, a completely different state as well. So these are like all people I normally wouldn't meet normally in like a completely different community. So it was all, it was all great. Um... I was most so pointing out that I don't know how to pronounce this Digimon Digimon's names. I Hars his Year of the Dragon Digimon <laughs> and Frigimon are asking the same question back to back. I know what is up with that. What is up with that? <laughs> oh, they're asking the same thing. Like, bro, y'all y'all are in the same farm, aren't you? Um, was Ochi the one with that weird girl in the beginning? Um, not girl. Um, it's the newest O2 movie. Uh, the one with, um, what's that? What's the Digimon's name? It, it It's basically the story about the very first Digimon partner. Uh, like the, the, the first Digidestin to ever get a partner, basically. It was that story. Digimon's fans being nice is absolutely something I'd expect. I know. It's just everyone wants to go back to the time of their life when all they, when all they had to care about was just what what shows or games they liked it's crazy um okay so the next case is in nakano broadway ba -ba -bum. Eh. 
I wish I just could automatically fast travel and I didn't have to go outside. I have to touch grass. I wish the background music... Okay, I was about to say I wish there was a little more background music for when you're walking on the streets. Um, I thought you were talking about the movie release way back when that weird girl who was wearing like a cape? Angela? Angela Anaconda? Is that what you're talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Starry just said it. Angela Anaconda. That was intense accusation. <laughs> Bro, okay. There's like a whole, whole meme about that in the Digimon community about Angela Anaconda. <laughs> there is a whole meme around that. And I'm pretty sure like um, when it was the anniversary of Digimon the movie, um, I think it was Davis's voice actor, War Greymon's voice actor, and then... Uh... Hawk slash Hawkmon's voice actor. There was another voice actor there. I don't remember who it was, but they did a panel um, at one point and then they talked about like the Angela Anaconda short <laughs> in that panel and how it's just a known thing amongst the Digimon fans. Like Angela Anaconda is only known amongst Digimon fans because they played it right before the movie. <laughs> that i cried because i thought we were watching the wrong movie when she came on dude that angela anaconda short was long for no reason um what is yuko doing here it was long for no apparent reason it just and it was just there <laughs> uh the original digimon the movie release came with that and that damn short oh that's another thing too they did say that they're gonna re-release digimon the movie the uncut version thank goodness because honestly the like digimon the movie it like, the stuff that they cut out, I'm just like, why did they cut it out? It's so good. But they said they're re-dubbing re it. And then gonna re-release re re it. Which, let's see how um, the replacement voice actors do. Uh, most of them are coming back. I know they got, ba got back a good amount of the original cast. But obviously, you know, there's some cast, you know, who either passed away or they're not... Or they're not accepted into the voice acting scene anymore that they had to, re had to replace. But... Uh, they got a lot of originals back. More originals than they got back for Try, which was surprising. Uh, I'm just glad Digimon isn't dead, even with Survive being, you know, Survive. Survive, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It was like, it was like an okay mid-game. Like, I do like the story. The story that they're going for, it's just like, sometimes the story dragged on a bit too much when it shouldn't have. And, oh my god. Or... Or, like, the gameplay wasn't really that exciting. And, like, getting different Digimon wasn't really a priority either in the game. Which I feel like is a big charm about Digimon games. is just getting different Digimon. And that wasn't really much of a necess necessity in Survive. Um, Free type. Oh, we got the answer wrong twice, guys. <laughs> We're gonna get the answer wrong twice, though. Uh, though I still am left warning, uh, wanting to watch Digimon O2 the beginning. You should. Uh, I think it's a pretty decent movie. Um, I won't, I won't talk about spoilers, but I think it's a really good story, like, movie. Like, the story that they were trying to tell, I think they did it well. It's just, like, as a return of the O2 cast, it wasn't what I would have wanted. But it was still a good story, nonetheless. But it, it, it didn't satisfy me in the way that I would have wanted it to. Um, why didn't you guys catch that? I don't remember this. Them saying free dive. I don't, it's okay. We're not gonna get punished. You go. You're gonna make me try food again to the point where I vomit. I know her. Okay, Skate, if you know it's good for you, you run. They don't turn virus vaccine or data before working in cyber suits. I don't know. Digimon's got its own rules. She's staring at Ish The next issue of Nakano Walking is coming soon. Which restaurant takes the title of Ramen King? New restaurant profile, unlimited dessert refills. Oh. And we just had that whole conversation about desserts. <laughs> oh, not Hello. Oh, there's voice acting in this one. What does she do? Watashi 
Pooty? Girl. Don't tell me you gave me your URL earlier not knowing that I was also a hacker. You let me use your body for free? <laughs> That's a very out of out of context statement, Crypto. <laughs> Two very important quotes from the stream. I think, therefore, I burger, and you let me use your body for free. <laughs> Wonderful. <clears throat> okay, where do I go now? Wait, where am I going? The cafe? <laughs> Go back to Hootie? Really? Oh, that's right. We have to take it up as a case. Ugh, I hate that we have to go back and forth. Okay. Time to take this thing up as a case and then we're gonna come all the way back to Nakano. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? There we go. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Backtracking. <laughs> it's another darn case. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Just make it an automatic case selector. What's the point of going- See, this is how people get lost. This is how you get lost. If you make it a case and I have to manually go get it, this is how I'm gonna get lost. This is how I'm not gonna know what to do. They <laughs> said ain't a long backtracking. That's true. At least we get some nice scenery of Japan City. Keep the realism. Alright, we got that one done. New case are- what are friends? Oh no. I want to find about friendship, but it's hard for me to look into it. Could you f help me find materials? You know, it would have been kind of sad if like there's people responding to this quest. <laughs> I'm for sure they would be savage and make fun of her for asking what are friends. <laughs> I don't understand why we have to spawn in as far away as possible from the office. I have no idea. Like, whose idea was it to put up, put us on the opposite street from our workplace? I don't know. I don't know anything. What does she mean by a book about friendship? I'll meet with Yuko Kamashira at Nakano Broadway first. Hey, Yuko, um, my farm island has built, has made friendship. Uh, I can just create it, you know, maybe, maybe you want some? I literally have friendship in my inventory. I can give it to you. <laughs>おやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやお
そういうものがいいですよろしくお願いします私この本を見たんですか、yeah, the sun... I mean the thing though is with cyber sleuth I'm, I'm typically not the type of person who replays a lot of JRPGs because I always go the completionist route and like I always feel very satisfied with my, my first playthrough most of the time And I feel like that I wouldn't really be too into a second playthrough, if you know what I mean. Like, I might, I want to fully feel it, if that makes sense. It's an unusual case, but she seems serious. I'll start looking. I think that's fair. I mean, I did consider replaying Cybersuit, but I was like, I had such a good first run with the playthrough, and I almost 100 completionist thing. I didn't do the seven deadly sins cases because I was a lot. But I did pretty much everything the first time, and it's like, even if I replayed it, I already had that first satisfaction of already doing it, so it probably wouldn't feel the same the second time around. At least. And the, the, yeah, same thing with JRPGs, they also take forever to complete. <laughs> Ryuji, oh, Ryuji Chitose and Erica must be in the cafe. I'll start by asking Ryuji if he can recommend any books. We should just have you go hang out with us for one day. What benefit do you get if the Digimon is high ABI? Uh. Shorter item? I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right either, because you use developer know hows to investigate. So, yeah, is it this one? Yeah, shall I answer? Yeah, yeah. Unless it's a monster collector, I don't play through JRPGs twice, or unless it's Persona. Yeah, same thing. Same with me, too, especially Persona. Persona, I don't really play through a second time. I right, maximum. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because I was like, finding rare items to investigate, that's a developer know how. Sure, I am Christian Time and Develop. I've never seen that be the case at any point in the game, so I was like, it's definitely not that one, so it has to be this one. Because you use ABI also for like digivolution and stuff. Uh, who am I looking for? Uh, 